Hey, good morning, my friends, and welcome to beautiful Surfside, California. It's the Friedman Adventures Morning Briefing. Good morning. Oh, that coffee is so good. For those of you watching us on YouTube, you can see I'm sipping on coffee, but thanks for everybody out there on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and all the other platforms that continue to join us and push us toward astronomical numbers. We deeply appreciate all of that. We got a lot to cover with you. You know, this ocean looks beautiful, doesn't it? I've kind of got you perched up so you can get a nice view of Catalina Island and perhaps a gray whale going by or some dolphin playing in the surf. If you see something like that, make sure you drop it in the comments. Uh, it's a perfect day to do that. It's a great day for surf fishing. And as I said, we got a lot to cover with you all. First and foremost, the Del Mar Bart Hall Show opens up later today, and you're going to want to go check it out. In fact, we got a little preview for you. Sam De La Torre and Island Fishing Tackle are in Del Mar right now. Let's go down and take a look at what he's got to offer. Sam's got the biggest booth he has had at any show in his entire life, and that's like 100 years, isn't it? Here's Sam. 2023 Del Mar Show. Here's our booth here, guys, just to get... Get you guys fired up about getting down here. Hopefully you guys make it down this weekend here. Bunch of cow star there. Got some jiggy blanks up there. Seagar floral all on sale. Jigging rods. Whole bunch of blanks. Cow star blanks. Rod building stuff. Kind of guys been asking me for that. We got a whole bunch of that there. All this whole side is all rod building stuff. Not to mention all the blanks. We got some good deals on some boots here for you guys. So I want to thank uh, AFCO for participating here in our booth. They got a nice, nice, nice display of all their newest, best stuff here. And of course, our reels is kind of uh, getting that set up here right now. Hope you guys make it down. Biggest booth ever here. All right, Sam, thank you. I'll see you on Saturday, everybody. I'll be down hanging around Sam's booth and walking around from noon till about four o'clock in the afternoon, maybe even later, shooting some podcasts down there, saying hello to my friend Bart Hall and Bill Varney and Pat McDonald, and of course, saying hello to you, but more than saying hello to you, saying thank you to each and every one of you. All right, don't forget the Danny Cadota Show is live tonight from 22nd Street Landing. Can't wait. Danny's always got so many great stories about sport vision. He's a historian historical a historical treasure is what I want to say. Danny is loaded up with so much great stuff. Who knows what he'll be talking about or what we'll be talking about. I'll be there with him, so that should be a lot of fun tonight. Danny Cadota Show. Let's go down to Cabo San Lucas where, as you can see, my buddy Sean Morgan is out cruising around Cabo. What a lucky guy. That's his job to go out and look for a yellowfin tuna. He's looking for YFT here this morning. It looks like a gorgeous day. It's been slow down there in Cabo San Lucas and continues that way for the most part. A little bit of yellowfin, a couple of dorados, some sierras on the beach with some rooster fish and an occasional striped marlin, but not all that many. Kind of typical for this time of the year, although we've seen Februarys that are just off the hook in Cabo. So we'll continue to watch that for you all very, very closely. Long range, the boys are back at it again, and they are picking at that 50 to 150 pound yellowfin tuna with a smattering of wahoo also. So their bite, while not tremendously wide open, is still good and a lot of great adventures with the long range boys right now. And that's everybody. And I hesitate to start mentioning boats because I'll leave somebody out. But the Intrepid, the Independence, um, the Red Rooster 3, all those guys have been down there doing quite well on bigger tuna and also some of that nice wahoo mixed in with it. Down there in the area around uh, Cedros Island, Cedros, during this time of the year, the Pongaros down there don't stop fishing. They still get out and they're catching calico bass, although the water's really cold right now. But they're also getting some white sea bass and also some halibut down there in that neck of the woods. So that is going along very, very well. Hey, will you excuse me one minute while I say hi to Lupe? Good morning, Lupita. How are you? <laughs> it's good to see you. All right, Lupe's walking by and she always has such a big smile and brings some joy to my life every time I see her. So we talked about Cedros. Let's get you up now to the area around St. Quentin, which is 140 miles down below the border in that neck of the woods. Weather's starting to calm down. 
This wind is out of the picture right now. Saturday's forecast is actually much better than it was. We're going to have a few breezy situations, but not that bad. Down there, with the wind out of the picture, they should get back to some yo-yo iron yellowtail, 50, 60 pound on a small, heavy jig that you drop to the bottom and wind on fast, and also copious amounts of rockfish. That's always biting there. And Collinette should be accessible to the, the boys out of San Diego. I'm not sure. I haven't looked at the schedule. I know the Pegasus wanted to get down there and several other boats. So this could be a good weekend. You know, you can take it to the bank that you're probably going to catch lots of great eating rockfish down there at Colinette. But, you know, they have yet to have a really consistent yellowtail bite there at Colinette. And, you know, that's just waiting to happen. And the closer we get to spring, and I know that's off there in the distance, but not that far as fast as time moves. But we are getting closer to spring, and the closer we get, the more imminent those yellows biting will be. And remember, there's been commercial catches of bluefin tuna down in that neck of the woods. Wouldn't surprise me to see that happen. What a glorious morning. Sun's just coming up right now. You can see it on the ocean's waves. It's gorgeous out, man. We are so blessed to be here. There is no question about it. In this sport of fishing or just being on the water, just being a waterman, whether you're lobster fishing or surfing or just being around the water, so good for kids. We have to preserve this for kids because it spurs on learning. It opens new doors. It is vitally important to the youth of our country to maintain these kinds of water sports. That's what this is for. It's for our kids. And closing it down is ridiculous. More kids are going to be sitting there on TikTok as opposed to experiencing this. I digress. Sorry about that. Anyway, back to uh, the area down there around Ensenada, our friends at Blackfin Sport Fishing. Good morning, Victor. Are you going to be at the uh, Bart Hall Show on Saturday? I hope so. I'll see you there, my friend. He's got a great operation out there on Punta Banda, Big Bonita, and some smaller ones around Punta Banda. Occasional yellowtail there, but mostly rockfish. They go down to Santo Tomas area and fish off of there, and they do quite well on a regular basis. Diego Nuno, talked to Diego yesterday. Him and I are coordinating on some stuff including getting more goods down into Mexico that we have collected, all thanks to you. And also, we're going to do that Cabrilla fishing. In fact, my son Philip sent me a text and said, Dad, when are we going? So I sent Diego a text and he said, yeah, when are we going? So we got to put the time aside and make that trip with my friend Diego Nuno. Arnie sport fishing also, catching rockfish, so is Diego. And Diego will take you to the Punta Banda area and fish calico bass. All those guys will if you want to do that. I highly recommend you give that a shot. It is really a lot of fun. All right, so now we're on this side of the border. Remember, Rockfish is closed here till April the 1st, so you've got to go into Mexican waters where it is open. You can do that on boats like the Dolphin. The Dolphin's out there on a regular basis. In fact, Anthony Mihalov, really good guy, a guy that dedicated a big part of his life to serving for us and protecting our country. Anthony, thank you for your service, my friend. He sent this photo of a burger on board the Dolphin, a Dolphin burger, not, not, not a a burger on board the boat dolphin before somebody starts sending me all kinds of texts. They're not eating dolphin, okay? Anthony wouldn't do that, or maybe he would. I don't know. But anyway, he sent that along, and it's nice. And John Ho loves to fish out there. He's out there on a regular basis fishing that stuff and doing quite well. So we continue to see some really good rock fishing on that side of the border as guys go down below and hit that hard and doing really, really well. Along the beaches here, and I'm talking three quarter day and half day, what a glorious day to be doing that. And the weather's just like this from San Diego all the way up to Marina del Rey. You're gonna catch some sand and calico bass. Not a lot, they are very lethargic in the winter time. They're just sitting on the couch. They just got through watching the Super Bowl and you gotta take that big plate of popcorn and put it right under their nose before they'll eat it. So you get a bite from time to time. At times it can get pretty good. But twilight boats, and there's not that many, Marina Del Rey's running that, and daytime boats will fish structure. You want to fish 40 pound, Opsin fluorocarbon's a great way to go, www.opsinusa.com. Put in FA at checkout, and Greg Brown will give you a hug and a kiss when he sees you at one of the shows, and you'll get a free gift and a handwritten note from him. So more importantly, right, than the hug and the kiss. Uh, fishing that heavier line because these fish are on structure, you definitely want to do that and pull hard when you get a bite. That is for sure. And sculpin and whitefish help to fill in 
everywhere else. All right, you can order Freedman Adventures hats right now. You can go to our Facebook page, Freedman Adventures, check that out. And of course, we'll have more shorts today. We've been putting a lot of shorts on YouTube. I hope you are enjoying those live show tonight with Danny Cadota. That's gonna be a lot of fun. This Saturday, as I said, from 12 to about four, I'll be at the Del Mar Show. Then on Sunday, I'll be with the 540 Slingers Club. Marine Stadium, you see the info right there. That's gonna be a lot of fun. If you're just learning how to cast, you're just getting in the game, you wanna come and have a cup of coffee and a donut, bring your own. Uh, it is gonna be fun. Eight o'clock in the morning, I'll be there. And I might go back to Del Mar, I'll let you know more about that as time goes on because my schedule is a little bit crazy right now. So a lot of great stuff coming up, no question about it. I really can't wait to see you really soon. I'll see you Saturday at the Del Mar Show. Don't forget, March 11th, we'll be doing a bunch of podcasts, several, maybe six podcasts at Bass Pro Shops, Rancho Cucamonga. That's March 11th. I believe it starts at one in the afternoon. I'll put a graphic up with that for you so you can see that. Love to see you there. We had such a good time the last time we were at Bass Pro Shops. That was a lot of fun. And don't forget, Pacific Coast Sport Fishing just put out their list of a of, of exhibitors man they have got everybody at their show that's going to take place the uh, beginning of march at the orange county fairgrounds that should be a great show it's showtime there's some fish around it's a gorgeous morning and i can't thank you enough for all of your support for friedman adventures one more thing become a patreon member today it helps us so much to produce this content we can't do it without you as little as five dollars a month and that really helps us that would be a huge help and you're going to get some swag out of it you're going to get some great stuff so keep that in mind it's www.patreon.com slash friedman adventures sign up today you'll put a big smile on my face take care my friends it's always great to spend time with you on this lovely morning go see sam and the rest of the folks at the Bart Hall Show today, and it will run through Sunday. Take care, my friends. Have a wonderful day. Judith Ann Nature Tours and Whale Watching is located at 22nd Street Landing in beautiful San Pedro, California. She does 25 knots and can put you on whales and other marine life within minutes of departure. And it's your own private group. Up to eight people can go on board the Judith Ann and witness the gray whale migration, blue whales, humpback whales, sea lions, pods of dolphin, and so much more. It is such a unique way to see the brimming marine life off the Southern California coast. Captain Tom Doerr has been doing this for decades, and he will put you right in the middle of an adventure that you will remember for a long time to come. It's the Judith Ann Nature Tours and Whale Watching out of 20. 20- Second Street Landing in beautiful San Pedro.